<laughs> we will work together against the zombies, yeah? <laughs> Co-op time! So much fun! Wunderbar! <laughs> You're on two teams and only one team makes it out alive, so good luck! What's up, YouTube? This is Oxstorm10 coming at you with some grief gameplay on farm. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with grief, it's pretty much like ripped off and just cackled into our ears. It's pretty much four versus four versus zombies. You know, one team you're trying to out-survive the other one. Uh, you can knife and shoot other people to kind of stun them a little bit, like I just showed there. And it's pretty much whoever can be the biggest assholes to each other is the ones who's going to win the game. And that's pretty awesome. I mean, because who doesn't like being an asshole to someone else online? Right? No, just kidding. But anyway, this probably won't be the most amazing game of grief you'll ever watch. And I'm definitely going to make a lot of dumb decisions. But, you know, we'll just see how it goes. I mean, I really needed something kind of interesting and fun for you guys to watch to kind of kick off this channel. And let me, you know, talk and ramble without you guys getting too bored of me. Which you might do anyway, so we'll just see how that goes. Uh, basically my plan with this channel is to do a bunch of zombie videos. I mean, probably a lot of just survival, you know, survival tips. And obviously a bunch of games of grief. Hopefully some turn gameplay as well. I really need to shell out the money and just get that buried DLC already kind of dragging my heels on that. What can I say? I don't like spending money. Anyway, you know, we'll just see how this goes. Hopefully it'll be a fun and interesting channel. Um, you guys feel free to like send suggestions about what like videos you'd want to see because I'll do that. I mean, I have no problem with that. Uh, I'm not really planning on doing any just playing out multiplayer gameplay, but you know, if that's what you guys want to see, then I might do a couple. I mean, not the best multiplayer either. I mean, I have some games where I'm decent, and I have some games where I absolutely blow. So, you know, I'm not sure if you guys really want to watch that. But if you do, then we can do that too. Anyway, so just some more. I mean, actually, all I have to say about the channel. I mean, we'll just hope it goes well. And, you know, the video quality is not going to be the best. I apologize for that in advance. But until anyone starts showing real interest in the videos, this is how we're going to do it. So, you know, like I said, don't like spending money. So I'm going to go the cheapest route possible, which is this old DVD recorder. Yeah. Anyway. So now that I'm done rambling about the channel, I guess I'll just go ahead and kind of commentate this grief game. I mean, be warned that I'm doing this live, so I'm going to probably stop making sense here in about five seconds. So just kind of bear with me. I'm trying to do two things at once. It's a little hectic. Anyway, how many points do I have? 1440. Okay, not bad. Um, some tips for grief. As you can see in these first couple rounds, it's pretty much just a melee of trying to get points. I mean, no one really gives two shits. They're just trying to steal each other's kills. So uh, instead of normally for zombies, you do like the six shots and then... Um, uh, you knife at this point you're really just trying to put whatever shots you can into a zombie whatever knife you can into a zombie you're just trying to steal kills and get points you know already two down huh. losers okay well in addition to that I would say I mean it's nice to be an ass to each other and try to get them down like that but the first and foremost you gotta help out your team I mean, because without your team, you're going to be pretty screwed. But when you get people down like this, I mean, you, there's no reason why you can't just sit around and be a complete ass and, like, not let them get revived. And that's why, as you see that guy is doing right there, he's laying down to revive. Because if you don't do that, then guys can just bounce you away with their knives. And so you got to kind of lay down to make sure you get that revive off, you know, basic stuff like that. I'm sure you've already heard that before if you're familiar at all with grief. But, you know... Why not say it again? Uh, while we're sitting here and waiting through this little lame period where there's really not too much going on for the zombies wise, I'll go ahead and just kind of give my opinion on Grief because I've been playing it a lot lately. And I think it's a really fun and interesting way that uh, Treyarch went with this uh, Zombies franchise. Like, just the whole like aspect of it is just so much more competitive and it's just so fun in my opinion to take the just the plain survival mode and turn it into um, uh, competing against other people 
it's really addicting and you know if you haven't tried it yet i would suggest trying it out i was a little hesitant at first i was like well this kind of sounds kind of lame i mean i'd rather just do survival like i normally do but giving it a go it's pretty fun and i'm really excited for trying out turn turn sounds like it's a lot of fun as well so like i said got to shell out that money get that dlc and um uh get it going Anyways, you can see here, things are starting to heat up a little bit, getting a lot more zombies coming up, and at this point, the Olympia is just a piece of shit, which it always is a piece of shit, but you can see it even more now. Just waiting for someone to buy this, because I'll be damned if I'm the one who buys it. That's just how the mentality goes, you know it. Let's see if I can be a little bit of an ass here. Oh, fine, I'll go over by my buddy. Uh, that's another thing I would say is it's probably important, more important to revive your, your buddies and stop someone else from getting revived because, you know, you'd hate to spend all that time trying to keep somebody else from getting revived and then, you know, they get up anyway and then you're just down a teammate, so, you know. I got you, bud. I got you. Let go. Oh, look at that. We had someone rage quit on us. Can't believe it. You also get that a lot too. People will just freak out instead of waiting to be revived, they'll just leave if they're down for a while. You know, people get upset. That's what happens. Yes, someone open this. Thank you, Lord. Get up here. Um, I've played survival, or not survival, phew, grief on cell block and I don't think I've played it on town yet. But I have to say I like it here on the farm the most. For some reason, it's just, especially at the higher rounds, it just gets super hectic. And, I don't know, it's fun that way. Hopefully this game won't last too, too long. I know you guys just don't want to hear my voice forever. But, you know, I'm trying to commentate useful things. I'm really upset. I have no ammo. Give me this mystery box. Oh, that's something else you can do that I really like. Um, uh, oh. Here on farm is you can kind of, whenever people get in the mystery box or they stand too close to the edge, you can just knife them off and then, ah! And you know, it's funny. Ah, they just took the max ammo. This is not looking too well. As you can tell, I'm not making the best decisions right now, but like I said, recording plus um, uh, talking, kind of hard to do. So you got to give props to people who do it in their videos a lot, because it kind of takes a different sense to kind of talk and do stuff like this at the same time. So mad props to you people. I'm not doing too well at it, but you know. Uh, uh, anyway, like I said, um, uh, this channel's just starting up. You know, it's going to need some work. It's going to need some suggestions, so feel free to comment whatever you like. I mean, any suggestions will be taken happily. Well, happily. Unless you guys are just assholes, which, you know, you can go ahead and do that too. Don't care. Uh, this is getting bad. I have to say that no matter what game mode you're playing, Juggernaut is the best um, perk you can ever have. Like, I'm so eternally grateful that Treyarch came up with that idea because without Jug, zombies would not be as fun. It just would. You'd end up dying a lot, you wouldn't get to high rounds really, and it just would be all bad. All bad. All bad. Yeah! Well, now he's back though, isn't he? Yes! Hammer! Thank you, Lord! Oh, something else I guess I should probably say, even though it hasn't really come up yet. Yeah! Get over here. Is if you're gonna run a train. Um, whenever you're playing Grief, just know that your hard work will probably be stolen from you by some asshole. You'll probably have a nice little train going, and then they'll just come up behind you and take all your points, and you've ran it for nothing. So, be wary when it comes to that. How did we already end up with two people? This is stupid. Rage quitters. Look at that. Too many. 4v2 is no bueno. We're probably going to go down here soon. So... You know, I do what I can, but like I said, not the best grief player, but we do what we can. What the hell's going on over here? Cool, sounds like a bus Um, 
I have to say, so far out of this new game, my favorite maps have been Mob of the Dead and probably Town. I like just running Town by itself. You can do some nice trains out of that. It just feels a lot better than some of the other maps. Like I said, Grief for this map is, in my opinion, the best, but Cell Block Grief is pretty fun too. It just, I've noticed it takes a little. You don't really get able to keep people very much, is what I'm trying to say. Like, people will either just rage quit, or they lag out a lot, it seems, when you're playing Mob of the Dead, or the Cell Block Grief. But, you know, it happens. Oh, and that little new aspect there for people who have not played Grief before is a little bait thingy that drops as a perk, and you can throw it at the ground, you can throw it at a player, and it'll just attract all the zombies. So it's kind of like a monkey. But it's not a monkey. Monkey, but it's not a monkey. Ah, I'm about to go down here because I'm being a dumb zombie player right now. Anyway, like I said, I mean, like and comment for whatever you want to say. I mean, I would say subscribe, but there's not too much on this channel right now, so just be looking out for new stuff coming. Ah, don't get me, bro. I gotta get Jug. So, anyway, this mode is going to keep carrying on, and, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys really want to watch all this, but I'm just going to leave it on for a little bit longer. I, I feel like we're going to end up going down here soon anyway, so you guys don't have to listen to me talk for too much longer. I'm just trying to keep some voice on this video so that we can get past the copyright for Black Ops, and so that YouTube won't be upset with me. Ah! See, this is where I'd rather just run a train, but we're just not at a high enough level to really do that right now. How many people do they have? Oh, they lost two as well? Oh, this is just going to end up getting lame. Alright, YouTube. That's it. I'm not going to keep you any longer. This game mode has really just gotten lame. So, you know, see, that's another bad thing about grief. You know, if people start leaving, then it just becomes, you know, four players dealing with eight players worth of zombies. And, you know, that's just no good. As you can see, we're all getting mobbed. We're about to all go down here soon. So, alright. Peace, YouTube. And, like I said, comment, like, and I mean, if you want to subscribe, go ahead. Just be on the lookout for new content. Alright, thanks. I'm out.